welcome back to Classic Britain. And today we're hopefully finally finishing my engine on the P6. Now, last time we installed all the rocker arms, um, all the push rods, the gaskets, all that kind of stuff, and it did run. It did run a little bit briefly. Um, I did a live stream a couple days ago where we did get it going, but we didn't have any coolant and the hoses haven't arrived, so I couldn't really run it properly. Or well, today, we're going to be running it up properly and doing a few other things. So, in this box, we got new rocker cover gaskets, leads, um, two water hoses, and all the clips we need, as well as a fuel tank sender locking unit and seal. And in here, we've got a fuel filter for the P6, which was 20 bloody quid, or 23 pound for a fuel filter with some nuts on the end of it. But I digress. Anyway, let's get these boxes open and have a look inside. Right, my hand is in considerable pain right now, but all the hoses are on. So in the box, um, with these two hoses here, these are the water pump hoses, and I didn't have these, so we put those on. Um, I already had the bottom hose, top hose, and these two heater matrix hoses. I put these on the wrong way around, I had to take them off. My hand is a bit shredded because the screwdriver kept slipping, but there we are, it's all on now. Um, in this box down here, we have my new rocker covers, which I'll put on later. Um, but most importantly, is this. Got a brand new fuel filter, and if you look at the color of the old one, uh, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I don't think the originals were fully translucent anyway, but it's pretty manky in there. Isn't that right, David? It's a horrible thing. You need to take it off and throw it over a hedge immediately. Or in a bin. Yeah, either one, really. Hedge would be better, though. If you put it in a hedge, you're not p p polluting the bin. So. With rover bits. Yeah. Yeah. Bin's too good for it. Um, our new leads from Mark didn't arrive. I think they'll probably arrive tomorrow. Or I don't know if he's in stock. I'll give him a call. Um, we had to use a couple of the old clips um, because two of the clips were the wrong size. Um, fortunately, the ones that came off the car, a couple of them were stainless steel, which is quite surprising, really. Um, so yeah, they're all right, but yeah, uh, what we need now is the vacuum tube, which goes on there, that, uh, pretty sure that, uh, disintegrated, so I need a new one of those. Oh, hello, what is this? <gasps> ha! I found the missing intake bolt. Ha! It had dropped into there into the front of the car. There we go, you can put that bolt on. Now I looked in a boot for this bolt and I couldn't see it and I also found there was a snap-on screwdriver on the radiator lip. These cars have a really good habit of hiding things you drop because there's loads of all sorts of lips and things where things can hide. So we'll tighten him up a minute. 30 foot pound. Yeah, 30 foot pound. Not the 75 that was used on the rocker cover arms. That was, uh, I'm surprised the bolts didn't stretch, so it's been a part before. Whoever assembled it or worked on it before us clearly was an idiot. And just going in there, balls to the wall with big bars and... Oh, I'm silly. It's this pipe. This goes right here. Perfect. Yeah, it's called a manifold. Why would you want to connect your radiator to... I don't know, it's where it goes. It is odd. But there we are. We've been doing well. Um, so what we're going to do is, what do you think, we run it with obviously coolant in it? Well, not coolant, just water. Run it for a bit, drain it out. Run it for a bit more, drain it out. And then I've got to get some flush as well. Um, but yeah, anyway. I think next job is to take that filter off. Get the water out of the toilet, because then it will be pre-flushed. <laughs> Get your water out of the toilet so it'll be pre-flushed. All right, that was good. I won't... <laughs> You're very pleased with that, aren't you? I am indeed, yes. <laughs> my, my, uh, my skills are legendary. <laughs> just, just not those in the bedroom. Anyway, <laughs> later. Right, it's time to see if it will run. We shall see. I'm going to check the uh, fuel filter, see if any of those joints leak. Which they might. Or 
They might not. Hard to say. It feels tight. For some reason it won't stay in the... It's fine. It's not... It doesn't affect anything. Right. Let's have a look. at all with her whole her bloody great hole you've I mean, you've yet to put a hose on there's a bloody great air leak into the manifold but spicy he runs at all really but he does handsome this one's supposed to go in there but yeah, this giddy. hose is perished right. and it broke so it's not gonna fit got to go you can't leave that I've got to get a new hose look there's not enough there might be yeah, I'm, I'm, this is just temporary, mind. Um, maybe. We tried it last time and there wasn't quite enough. <coughs> May do the job. It's only temporary, it's not permanent. Obviously. Got a little clip you can whack on it. Force it to stay there. Oh, he's bloody tight, I'll tell you that. Isn't it? This is just temporary, guys. This isn't permanent at all. Well, right, I suppose water in it? And water would do, yes. He needs a drop of water. He's thirsty, like I am. Where's my tea? I don't know. You have it, don't you? One cup's never enough. And you've done it already, bloody hell. Oh dear. All right, let's get a bucket, I suppose. Right, we've put coolant in it, well, water for now. And we're going to run it up, I suppose, aren't we? We'll see. Move this stuff in Pretty miles down, down already. Oh. This was, Water, quick. One down again? Yep. I'm bloody hell off of it still. I don't know where it's gone, mind. Depends on how well you tightened up the manifold, I suppose. I did, it's just the engine will be empty, the heater box will be empty. Mm. It runs better, doesn't it? Mm. Started easier. Started beautifully. Beautiful. Yeah. 
deep hole. Bad noises, is it? Mm -hmm. Not yet. Not yet. Don't say that. Well, that's a success, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I would say so. Definitely say so. What are you doing that for? What rhythms are they like? That good? Yeah. Sounds well, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah, that fuel filter we took off was really nasty. It's running well though, isn't it? Do we put the cap on? The radiator cap. It's full. I mean, it is ticking over, lovely. 600 RPM odd. 30 psi on tick over. They're not a high pressure engine anyway. Yeah, I'm very happy with that. That is running really well. All right, we'll leave a go for a bit. We are very happy with this. It is running brilliantly. Very smooth, no problems. No water leaks either, amazingly. My hose tightening skills have not left me. Engine note sounds very sweet. Very raspy even. Go inside. We can see the temperature is not even in the green. It's been running for about 10, 15 minutes. So I think unclogging that waterway really did help because that was clogged solid. So that will really help cooling. But runs very well. We're very happy with that. It runs very smooth, sweet as a nut. The next thing is going to be the test drive, I think. So, yeah. Hmm. Don't know what to say, really. 
it, well, we didn't expect it to go this easily. Um, you know, a lot's been done. A lot of unboxing and, you know, fitting all these hoses and doing all this stuff. You know, we, we didn't really expect it to go this well. <laughs> and it did go this well. It went absolutely beautifully. Temperature's barely moving at all. It's not even in the green yet. It is running absolutely lovely. I think the f crap it was sucking up was just the filter. Um, I don't think it's been changed in years and years and years. We'll keep an eye on the current fuel filter and see if it is in fact the tank or it was just stuff in the filter. But when we took that old filter off, it was absolutely rank inside. Um, so there could well be stuff in the tank. But it responds instantly to throttle now. It is beautiful. And yeah, it's it's very nearly ready to go to its new home. Yeah, I'm very happy with it. Very, very happy with it. Just left it ticking over. Well, I guess we'll cut back to you. Right. Yeah, I guess we just wrap up now. I'm really happy with that. Um, This is... I was quite worried because this is my first time, you know, properly rebuilding top... I didn't rebuild the whole thing, obviously, but like... You know, most of the top end we did. And, um... Worked well. Yeah. I've never really rebuilt one before. There's a first time for everything. Mm. That's what they say. But it's weird. It's, it's very odd. Um... <sighs> it's all good. It all works. I think the feeling of, you know, doing this for the first time and, you know, the anxiety of wondering if it's going to blow itself up is always, uh, always there, but... It didn't happen. It ran very well. And you can feel the heat coming off it. <laughs> but the thermostat the temperature gauge did start working again. It was going whoop, and then it closed a bit. It, it, it would have, it got to the top of the white and then started going down. So obviously we're not running it, but, well, I mean, we're not driving it, but still it's, it's running well, isn't it? It's going really well, yeah. Sounding good. <coughs> Sounding good. No leaks, nothing. All, all quiet on the western front. Yeah, no nasty ticking sounds, nothing like nothing that. Like that. So, it, yeah, it, was, it went well, it went well. No push rods poking holes up through the rocker now. All looking good. No push rods going through the rocker covers. <laughs> good. All looking good. How much have I done to this engine? Let's think. I've replaced replaced the intake manifold gasket. Um, well, what have I done to this car in total? So, replaced the intake manifold gasket. New push rods, new lifters, new rocker arms. Um, new old stock starter motor. New calipers, new front pipes. All new coolant hoses. Um, new points, new condenser. New, new fuel filter. Um... And the fan belt. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> uh, there'll be new leads going on it as well when those arrive, whenever that is. Oh yeah, uh, I said fuel filter already, didn't I? We've done all the carbs, what David did the carbs. Balanced them, did the mixture. Oh, yeah, we've done a lot. Done a lot. But it was worth it. None of the hoses leaked. Usually when you first put them on, you have to tighten a couple of them up and, you know, make sure it's to stop them leaking, but they didn't leak at all. Nothing leaked. I was amazed. Yep, there's definitely been coolant going around there. That's hot. This is hot too. Yeah, a success really, isn't it? A success. Classic Britain has a success. I'm happy because it's the first time me properly doing you know engine stuff like this so it went very well it did indeed yeah although you rebuilt the rocker arms so because oh, they were bastards and they needed a very large hammer indeed which i happen to have but it works and it's done so someone will make a very good car for someone apart from the rover badge on it obviously there we are mm. now it's my neighbor can i interest you in a rover if it was an arty job yeah what, a P4? Yeah. Is that your thing, the P4? Yeah. No, not my 
maybe one of these. Uh, what do you go for? A couple of grand or something? A couple of grand. <laughs> well, you're talking sort of 15 or Oh, God, like no, that. I'm not mad. <laughs> well, I don't know about that, actually. What are you, what's the matter with it now? Nothing, we're done. You're finished? Yeah. It's, it's ready to go. I can prove it. Let's go it up. You'll make a noise if people be upset. Oh, they're always upset. <laughs> What about that, huh? Does it, does it go and oh, does it move? <laughs> does it go backwards and forwards? Yeah, it's yeah. It does car things. Most most unusual for me, isn't it? Yes. Why is it taking so long to do this? Well, because the bits took ages to turn up, and I had no money. But you've got money now. Well, oh, no, money? it's all. Where did you get money from? I sold something. <laughs> it was legal. <laughs> <laughs> drugs. Yes, you're slinging drugs to buy rover parts. Yeah. What's that thing you got there? It's a camera. Fucking hell. I don't know nowadays. You young, you young people. And your YouTubes and your P6s and. Yeah, sure. Bloody hell. What would it go for then? About six, I think it'll go for. Yeah. Yeah. If it was a Ford, it'd be three times that. Ford. If it was a Ford, yeah. Why? Well, they're worth they're stupid money, aren't they? An Escort's 30 grand. You should have kept that instead of a Diane. Oh, how awful. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> Quite ironic, because his auntie had a P4. It's called the Auntie Rover. <laughs> but there we are. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Enjoy the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment down below, all that sort of thing. And until next time... Pub. No. Urgent. What well, the other thing? Beer. Like and subscribe and whatever else it is. Uh, Bye. Those and despise. Yes. Charles.